So it was all about grades for me, good grades, good grades. At the end of the day, my first semester I didn't go, second semester I didn't go, third semester I didn't go. To be honest, I am ashamed of some of the things I am going to be saying in this video. I don't care anyway, so that is why I'm sharing this with you all. If you are planning to become a computer science student or you are already a computer science student and you are still in the early stage, you know, you're still a freshman, you're still a sophomore, please take this video seriously especially my African students who are studying in Africa because these are some of the mistakes I made or some of the regrets I have and um, it bothers me each time I think about it I I feel so sad I wish I can just change things up you know go back but it's not possible hey guys welcome back to the channel if you're new here my name is Aladi Ako I am a computer science major I make educational videos and if you're interested, please don't forget to click the subscribe button. Give this video a thumbs up if you like what you see already. I am going to be talking about my regrets as a computer science student. These are some of the things I regret deeply. I just wish, had I known, had I known. Before I start today's video, I just want to say thank you to a subscriber who sent me $200, I think three weeks ago. He sent he or she sent me money. I'm guessing it's a he. Well, thank you if you're watching this video. I really appreciate it and um, I am grateful. My first regret is the fear of coding and programming. Do not ask me that if you're scared of programming and coding, then why are you studying computer science? Well, computer science is not just all about coding. Don't ask me why. I used to have this fear of programming. Anytime I hear anything, coding, programming, I just, there's this anxiety in me. I just can't explain, but I am so terrified. I don't know if you can relate to what I'm saying. Just let me know in the comment section. I struggled with this for a long time. I started studying computer science in the year 2013. That was when I started my bachelor's degree. I completed that in Africa and then I moved here to start my masters well I have fought that fear I wish I started earlier but now I I'm not scared bring it on bring it on bring it on I am not scared but this is my regret I don't know you might say is this really a regret it is for me my number two regret is learning syntax instead of logic I don't know I feel like some of us make these mistakes at certain points of our life trying to get into computer science all we think about is learning syntax you want to know how I know syntax is very important don't get me wrong but I feel like it is better to learn logics first if you try to learn syntax first how many syntax are you gonna learn are you gonna learn C++ Java, um, Python, whatever. Are you gonna learn all the syntax in the world? I, I wish I channeled my energy into learning logic, understanding branching, if statements, algorithm data structures. Because I don't know, for exam purposes, syntax are you know good because you might be you know required to write some code on paper, you know, during your exam. But in real life, I feel like these things are accessible. You can just go to Google if you just know if you're given a pro problem like a programming assignment or something and um, it's about you know something you just have to solve one problem or the other and you figure out that this thing is supposed to be done using a loop this data structure will work this thing will work you need an if statement here you need branching and stuff like that if you understand that all you just need to do is google this thing how to you know the um use a loop in python or how to you know do this how to just how to you just do the googling <laughs> if there's anything like that i wish i had you know because all the time it felt like i was cramming this syntax i was just learning you know public static void but look, i don't know if you understand me but yeah so if you're coming or you're thinking of you know becoming a computer science student or you're already a computer science student and you're a freshman or something please learn the logics learn the basics because these are things the fundamentals these are things that will help you don't just focus all your energy on learning syntax learning syntax is good it helps it's it, but by the time you learn logic and you keep practicing this syntax they will come naturally it will just become something because you, you you use this thing often you will just get used to them 
I feel like yeah this is just my opinion my number three regret is not going for career affairs and let me just say when I was back in um, Africa when I was back in Nigeria or when I was back in Benin Republic there was nothing like career affairs there so coming here it is different there is career fair every semester so in my first semester if you haven't watched my academic probation video i'm going to link it up here being on academic probation it made me lose my self-esteem that made me feel so insecure i was like feeling so 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 insecure and i felt like if i go to the career fairs like i was never going to get anybody to interview me i was never going to get an opportunity i denied myself all that at the point i was suffering from probably imposter syndrome I don't know but it felt like it because I, I was just I felt like I I don't deserve things like I'm not good enough I was struggling with so this why am I saying this this was the major reason why I never showed up for any of the career fit my first semester I didn't go second semester I didn't go third semester I didn't go it was the fourth semester I finally summoned courage to attend a career fair and um, most time if you know like the four career fair people say that one is more effective because that is when they start recruiting for internships you know for the summer internships the following year so though i you know had good conversations with recruiters and stuff like that and i made good contact but it was too late who if i had started like the first three semesters i probably would have gotten used to the whole process the interviews and I probably would have landed an internship who knows the summary of the whole thing is I regret not going for career fairs to find internships because in my undergrad I had two internships they were not really the best internships but at least I had something so if you if, if you're a freshman or you are a graduate student you're in your first year please try to make out time to go for this career fairs even if you don't land an internship in your first semester or your second semester there is a probability you will land one but just get used to the whole process and um, do not allow anything to make you scared or you know feel less and at some point some of us struggle and it is okay to struggle just make sure you seek for help and you know speak up my number four regret is not having personal projects i was just concentrating on getting good grades i was just working on projects that professors just assigned it is part of the requirements to graduate and i never had my own computer science life out of the conventional school space and i never came up with a project idea and worked on it from scratch to the end so i wish i had focused more on self-development developing myself coding and stuff i don't get me wrong i worked on some coding trying to solve a problem short programs and stuff like that but i never you know took up a big project and just worked on it or get someone to work on it with me i never did that so please if you're a computer science student i know it can be overwhelming with the classwork try and pick up some personal projects on the side try to do it trust me it's gonna help you okay do not just depend on what i know sometimes i during my undergrad i focused more and i was like well i need to get a's in my classes you can sometimes there are some classes you take literally you don't have to write any single line of code and um, you're good it's just math logics and you know just theoretical stuff so I did well I, I I'm theoretically good like but when this thing when it came to the practical aspect I I was just I was nowhere to be found so um yeah I just focused it was all about grades for me good grades good grades at the end of the day it paid off I had the first class but practically in the real life some of these things I didn't really understand them because I don't know I don't know maybe make another video and um, address what you should do and what you should not do i don't know please i don't know i don't want to make a promise so when i came for my masters i was like well i'm gonna step on a new leaf i'm gonna focus on the practical and you know not dwell too much on the theory well at the end of the day i feel like i didn't i wasn't able to balance it so my advice is try and balance this thing don't just be on the you know the theory aspect you're here and the practical aspect you're you are probably here to try to balance everything out um, because you need both of them if you don't understand the you know the logic behind something you really can't work with it i didn't have the goal of 
practicing learning and practicing i was just learning the skills i i didn't really practice the skills on my own all the skills i practiced were because i had to because it, it had to do with the homework or project enough of all that my number five regret is waiting for someone to teach me coding hmm yeah a lot of you you're waiting for someone to teach you programming <laughs> how is that even possible you need to make the conscious effort to do these things and that brings me to i wish i knew about github um youtube all these online platforms geeks for gig i wish i knew about them because the whole time i thought you know someone had to teach me how to code i never thought i could do these things on my own like i could learn from scratch by myself you have to learn these things by yourself all they are going to do in school is just to show you the basics you know teach you the fundamentals but no one is going to tell you that this is how to program and stuff like that literally if i'm wrong please let me know in the comment section so i wish i i knew this earlier i regret <laughs> I don't know why didn't I even think I knew how to browse I knew how to search why didn't I go to Google search to find how to learn programming I, why why didn't I know of YouTube like why didn't I know you could come to YouTube and literally learn how to code well I regret these things and um, I have a lot of regrets but these are like my major regrets and um, I hope you learned one or two things well thank you so much for watching this video if you want more videos like this computer science stuff please let me know in the comment section and um, I hope you enjoyed watching this video thank you so much I really appreciate you God bless you see you in my next video